I've graduated from the Kiev University of Art and Culture this year. So, so this is all <laughs> for beginning. <laughs> so I heard about the marriage business. So at this at the time I started selling a marriage agency a phrase ago when I was looking for a job. I found the ads in the newspaper and started to call to their people. So I've come to them and they told me that I can work with them. Uh, as explained to me, uh, my main um, Obligation would be to contact their clients, woman client, and to tell about the clients, men clients. Uh, after then, translated letters sent to the ladies, and after that, sent translated variants to men back. Have you seen women that have been translators here in Ukraine really be um, like jaded? Do you understand what jaded means? Mm -mm. Corrupted. Cor corrupted mm -hmm. or just completely changed by the, the industry where they can, like you said, almost not feel anymore because they just don't take anything yeah. serious. Yeah, they, don't, they don't believe in love anymore. Mm -hmm. A lot of, just especially uh, a lot of um, young ladies who came to that business yet when they were young and they were start to work in that business. So just nearly, you know, uh, two or three years. And when they understand it can bring them a lot of money, uh, it just, it all depends on the person, really. If the person understands what he's doing and what, when, when he needs to stop, so she or he to say, okay, it will stop. If the person won't understand it, so she will do it. That is all. Just everything depends on the person. Do you hold any, I mean, it seems like you want to make things better, but do you hold any like hard feelings or like really resentment or a grudge against these agencies? Mm, I didn't see Do the you, question. Are you, <laughs> ang angry. are you angry about, you know, with the agencies, what, how, what, it's, what it's done to Ukrainian women? Uh, or? Yeah, because of um, those agencies, yeah, they done a very, yeah, they make a reputation, yeah, very bad. So it's because of that. And really a lot of um, men came here even... Uh, if they come here not as a client of it, it's only by themselves, they think that, okay, I'm 60, I've got a lot of money and I can buy everything here and everyone here. Each girl who's 20 or 21 is going to be, is going to ready to sleep with me only because I've got money and I'm from another country. And this is all done only because of the websites. So, yeah, and really, that is why in majority of cases, yeah, I'm angry because of it. So, because... So our girls know they <laughs> of course i repeat one more time everything depends on the person of course there are such type of girls who are ready to do it but majority of girls are not ready to do it and they're not able to understand why those men came here and think they can buy everything and it's just only because of the that dating industry that is all if that business is a known scam or fraud mm -hmm. or unsuccessful why do we continue to see so many girls sign up for the database and show up uh, apparently to meet a foreign man so young girls came to the agency because of their photo shooting yeah and uh, also girls like to receive presents uh, not presents but money for that presents that a man can give her. Yeah. And uh, they just wanted to go to a restaurant, to expensive restaurant, spend a night there. Um, so that is all. 
Of course, there are there are serious women. Yeah, there are serious women, but it's very it's very difficult to find them. Well, it's very difficult to find such. Can you talk a little bit about what the marketing looks like to these women? How are they actually getting them in the door? I mean, what is it? Are they just strictly for the clients for the women to to go into the database? Are they just saying free photo shoot? Come in. What are they promising them? What are they telling them? Uh, they promise first of all free photo shooting, and after that, uh, presents, gifts from rich foreigner. They always tell her all foreigners are rich. All her would love you. Just promises a lot of. Uh, and only they ask that to come to the agency to make a photo shooting. And okay, we are going to call you when the client will appear. So and they call you when the client is already here in Ukraine. So would you say that they do set expectations that? These women should be looking to get married and relocate to a, a foreign country with with this man. No. So the agency. No doesn't, one of the agency got such an idea. So the agency doesn't care whether a girl is serious or not if she signs mm, up. No. So there's very little to no screening process when these girls come in. Mm -hmm. The agency is only cares the girl is serious or not if it's going to be a meeting with a man, and the agency is feeling that. Uh, it can that the man can bring him a, to the agency a lot of money. Only at that point they start caring if the girl's serious or no. Do they even ask if these women are single? Mm, <laughs> not always, because there are such um, websites, or is um, it's not necessary to um, give them pass your copy of your passport. So it's mean even married um, ladies can be a client of such agencies. Are you aware of any of these um, companies going into pornography here? Uh, I know some websites, they allow their clients to do everything. So, and pornography also allowed it. So, are they recruiting girls from here? They bring them in as clients and say, hey, if you want to do this. It's like everything started like a simple chat. But many clients already know what is allowed in this website. Uh, also, as a dirt of girls, also know what is allowed in that. And if you want to get a lot of money, so we just do whatever you wish. Well, some of the companies they find that if we can get letter writing for these prices, we can get even more money if we have pornography, mm -hmm. even the most hardcore of pornography. Are you aware of any of those kind of companies operating here? Yeah, they like um, they have <clears throat> a lot of ads in the um, internet it's called like um, a company is looking for um, for a nice looking girl to work as a model uh, the girl need to to have some english english skills at least so and they've got they've got a website when you're on their website you will understand where you are <laughs> so just uh, and it's, yeah it's like there are like a lot of websites so yeah we even Porno websites, different. Well, what about, we talked, I want to circle back a little bit to the mm -hmm. marketing and how these girls are brought into this agency. Where specifically can you find, where do, these, <coughs> where do they advertise and where are they finding these girls? Uh, so there are several, several variants. So first of all, it's advertise yourself through the newspaper. And um, second one is in the... Um, in the buses, just in the bus stops, also just to put ads, and also through your friends. What about universities? Like I know in the United States, uh, advertising boards, uh, flyers, mm -hmm. they'll pay students to put flyers up everywhere on campuses. Does that uh, happen? <clears throat> A lot of agencies got such idea, but I don't know if it's working on. Just to know that everyone was talking about it, because the um, database of the girls, it's rather, right now it's very limited, because they are all the same. Uh, you can find one lady in 20 agencies, and it's become very hard for agency to find a new one, because when you find this new lady, okay, you wanted to put her to that website, and at last you find out, oh, she's already there, because she's also a client of that agency. So they are looking for new faces.
I wish you all the best in your personal journey to find and marry the most incredible, amazing Ukrainian wife you could possibly imagine.